I'm a 40-something-year-old corporate girly that would like to retire in eight years but has no retirement savings. I am $100,000 in debt. $85,000 of that is student loan debt and $14,000 is in credit card debt that I like to pay off by the end of this year, but I don't know how to do that because I don't make enough money. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. Lovely to see you all on this fine Sunday. I made a banana bread latte. Let's try it. I've never made this before, but I love banana bread. And I haven't made it in a while, so thought I'd make a latte. Okay, not a fan of the banana bread latte. Definitely a fan of banana bread. I think it tastes kind of funky. I don't know, it just kind of tastes like watered down for some reason. I don't know. I'm going to drink it because I made it and I'm not going to waste it, but maybe I need to switch up the recipe. I don't know. Maybe I need to try different milk. I don't know. I have been seeing so much about the devastation of Hurricane Helene, and I just want to say at the top of the video, like, my heart goes out. And my prayers go out to each and every single one that has been affected by this hurricane. It's been devastating to Western North Carolina. That's where my parents live. And thankfully, my family is okay. And their properties are located up on the hill, you know, up on a mountain. So they are fine. But it, it has rocked the East Coast. And I just want to say my heart and prayers go out to each and every single one of you or your family or your friends or anyone you know that has been devastated by this hurricane. I'm very, very blessed and very grateful that me and my kids and my family have been okay, but it, that is not the same for a lot of people that I'm seeing on social media over this last few days. The reason why I gathered you all here today is so we can do our weekly bank account audit. I have my laptop here and we're going to go over all of my expenses. And then since payday is Friday, this is the last like week of expenses. We'll go over if I'm over, like if I spent all my paycheck, if I'm under, if I'm over, kind of an over under scenario at the end of the video so stay tuned for that i paid my rent this morning which was 16 13 96 and when i went in there this morning i was like because last week or last month i decided to delete my debit card that had been on there since i moved in because i had to pay with my debit card originally for like the fees and stuff like that but then they kept deleting like my checking account and if you pay with your debit card, there's like a $45 fee. And if you just pay via like your checking account, you know, with your account information, then there is no fee. So last month I ended up, or maybe last month or the month before, I ended up paying extra because I didn't realize that they kept deleting my checking account and keeping my debit card on there. So I ended up paying the $45 fee because I was just paying my rent on the fly in the car doing errands. It wasn't paying attention like I should have been. And so I deleted all of that and I just put my checking account in there like it was before and it's still there. It's not deleted or anything. So I don't know what was going on, but I did not have to pay the fee because my checking account was on there. So I paid $16.13.96 for rent. I spent $108.59 on groceries. I got a couple of things leading up to the hurricane because everybody started to take it really serious and realizing that was like a what, a category three or four or something. Then I was like, okay, I need to fill up. I got water, um, I was out of milk, and then I got groceries this weekend for this coming week. I sent my daughter $6 on National Youngest Daughters Day because last month I did that for my oldest daughter on National Oldest Daughters Day. 
So I sent my daughter $6 so she can get a little latte and just like a I'm thinking of you treat, you know? Spent $25 on my phone bill. If you don't know, I have Visible by Verizon and my phone bill every single month, taxes included and everything, $25. That's all I pay a month. My phone is like an iPhone 11, I think. So it's something like that. So it's been paid off, you know? I don't, I'm not finding it seeing my phone or anything like that. But I have Verizon Towers, so it's really nice. And I suggest everyone that has Verizon, if you're looking for a cheaper option, Visible by Verizon. Check it out. It is very basic, but I have unlimited everything. Data, unlimited Wi-Fi, whatever, you know. Not Wi-Fi, but data, I guess. And then I needed to re-up on Scout's heartworm flea and tick stuff. So I got that the other day from Chewy. And then we do Dutch.com, which is a virtual vet platform, like website. If you need like an, an emergency, non-emergency. If Obviously, if your dog's like throwing up violently or like you think they broke a bone or something like Dutch.com isn't going to be able to help you. <laughs> but if you, if they have like an ear infection, you can't make it to the vet because you work out of, all, you know, in the office all week and stuff like that, or your vet's booked up, then stuff like that, or like a yeast infection or something minor, then you can get a vet visit on Dutch.com. And it's $35 a month. The vet visits are free. You do have to pay for any of the prescriptions, but they're usually relatively cheap. Sometimes you can get stuff at like the CVS. So we do that because Scout is always at the vet. If you guys have been following our journey, we've been at the vet probably in the last six months. I've paid $1,100. Or random different stuff. Allergies one time. And then Scout has IVDD. Which is something to do with her discs in her back. They're like deteriorating from the inside out basically. Then I wasn't planning on eating out. But my daughter called me earlier this week. And she asked me to come pick up her and her son. My grandson. Because their AC was out. So after work, I ran and grabbed them and I didn't have enough food in the fridge to feed all of us because I only usually grocery shop just for me because no one else ever comes over. I'm always go going over to her house. So I just grabbed us some takeout from like a local restaurant and I spent $28.89 doing that. And then my last expense is my car wash for $48.12 and People always try to tell me to get rid of my car wash because they're like thinking, I guess they think like I have a lot of like subscriptions. My only three subscriptions, I guess you can say, are the Dutch.com, which is $35 a month. But I like having that peace of mind because I did have it and then I canceled it and then I ended up needing it again. So Anyway, we'll just keep it for now for the next few months and see how things go. And if I don't need it, then I will cancel it. Other than the Dutch.com for Scout, I have Hulu for $1.12 a month. And then I have my car wash for $48.12 a month. And I like going to the car wash. I go like once or twice a week. I live in a beach town, so sand is always in my car. So I like vacuuming that out. Plus, I'm always hauling my daughter and her son around and the car seat gets sand and dirt all over um, because it's just one of those like car seat strollers where it's all combined and you just like the wheels collapse up into the car seat and just put it in the car so the wheels are always on the ground and that's getting them a car so I like keeping my car wash membership, okay, y'all? So I spent a total of $1,973.47 this week. Now, for are we over or under? My total income, I did get paid out from Amazon like $19.55. So I added that to my paycheck. I am a salary employee. And I get paid $2,150.59. I also got a little payout from Amazon of $19.55. 
I'm not as active on my storefront as I could be and should be. It's just really hard to make all the content that I make and try to we like have the time to make all that content as well. I have been debating on if I can get my um I've been debating on do like TikTok shop basically, which is kind of like doing the same thing as Amazon influencer, but it's a lot less steps because I don't have to make a whole separate video. And sometimes I do put my videos that I put on TikTok and YouTube shorts, my little cleaning video sometimes. If I have a product that I really like, I will just put that video as is over to my Amazon storefront and link the products. So I got paid $2,150.59 for my job, then $1955 from Amazon, which brought me up to $2,170.14. And now for am I over or under? Did I spend more than I made? And I did. I spent $47.34 over so i went over budget and that is devastating but i think i only started this over under like i don't know a couple videos ago so i'm gonna start i'm gonna continue to do this and seeing that i'm over that i spent over what i budgeted is really annoying to me and devastating <laughs> i'm trying to do my best ass. i'm getting better i'm getting better that's all I have to tell myself is continue to do this. You're only going to get better. So I will continue to do this. So I can get better at budgeting and not going over budget. Right, Scout? I don't know if you can see her, but she's right here. <laughs> all right. I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.